Hello, I am Linnell Giddings, Principal at Ellen Hopkins Elementary. Welcome to Moorhead Area Public Schools. We are excited to meet your kindergartner. The health and well-being of each student is important. Here are five tips from our health services team as you and your student transition to kindergarten. In each elementary school, there is a full-time health technician that is there all day, every day, to help take care of injury and illness as it happens during the school day and to administer medications for those who need it. We have four licensed school nurses in the district to serve our nine campuses. The licensed school nurses provide training and support to our health techs, manage chronic conditions, train our school staff about how to support health needs at school, coordinate with health care providers, strengthen IEPs when there is a health concern that impacts learning, and provide direct student care. Our licensed school nurses are also certified public health nurses and provide public health monitoring and intervention. Minnesota law requires all kindergartners to have up-to-date immunizations prior to starting kindergarten. Immunization records, screenshots, or pictures of records can be submitted to health services at moreheadschools.org. Your child can receive these vaccines anytime after age four. Make your appointment today to avoid any delays at the start of school. If your child does not receive immunizations due to a medical contraindication, please submit the student immunization form signed by their primary provider. If your child does not receive immunizations due to conscientiously held beliefs, the student immunization form must be completed in the presence of a notary and returned to the school. If your child has a health condition, please contact your school's office and they will connect you with the school nurse. By starting this conversation now, it will make the school transition much easier. Our professional nurses will help you understand what options are available at school, what paperwork may be needed, and what plans we can get in place to make sure your child is their absolute safest at school. If your child will need to take any medication at school, we require a medication consent form. The form can be found in the document section of your school's website. Medical facilities can get busy in August, so we strongly encourage you to reach out to your child's health care provider in June or July to get this important document completed. If your child will need over-the-counter medication and they take it as typically written on the bottle, we still need the consent form but only need the parent signature. Kindergartners should never have the sole responsibility for medications unless it is an inhaler or EpiPen and there is a provider order stating they are able to independently manage their medications. Never send medications in your child's backpack. An adult must deliver them to the health office. We are here to help. If you have concerns or questions about your child's health, do not hesitate to reach out to us. We support families with hearing and vision screening, insurance paperwork, referrals to community providers, and so much more. Former U.S. Surgeon General Jocelyn Elders said it best, you cannot educate a child who is not healthy, and you cannot keep a child healthy who is not educated. We cannot wait to partner with your family for your child's health and education.